What up YouTube, it's me, it's me, it's your favourite today, how you doing? Just um, thought I'd show you what I got for the charity shop today. I think I'm going to mix these into um, kind of one vlog kind of thing. Instead of doing separate charity shop hauls, car boot hauls, sales videos, whatever. Um, I'm just going to mix them all into one until it's up to half an hour and then I'll upload it. <laughs> I'm going to do that from now on. I was, um, I think Peter Ray put a post on uh, YouTube, I think, like asking for a vote if people like separate charity shop videos or haul videos and all the likes them all mixed together. And I voted all mixed together, and I was like, hang on, if I if I prefer them like that, why don't I just do them like that? So, um, so I thought, sorry, that's what I'm gonna do from now on. So I'm just gonna mix them all together. Um, so yeah, I went to the charity shops today. It's there's only three and it's not like I'm proper looking for stuff so just picked up five items um I've yeah I've had proper bad man flu man I've got cold so if I cough don't worry I don't have the vids I've done a natural flow or flower test or whatever it's called um and I'm not dying so yeah I've just got a bit of a man flu Feeling sorry for myself, so yeah, I'll go through what I picked up. I've got two bits that aren't um, aren't cloudy, and three bits that are cloudy. So I picked this up. Um, it's a bud vase. Found out doing an image search. Um, Crystal D Axe. I, I, there. The reverse thing to see what that says. Um, the reason why I picked it up, it's got that badge on. I've sold. Um, the crystal, the arcs, whatever. Um, stuff before I sold like a, what's it called? It's not a leprechaun. It's called bird, big furs. Um, leprechaun, one level leprechaun. Bird, big fe feathers, blue, big feathers, shoots up, looks dead fancy. No come to me. I've sold one name anyway. Um, thought 25 quid. This I thought I might be a little bit more money, but not really. Um, it's like a tenner, really. In it. It's a nice bud vase. Um, yeah, crystal peacock. There we go. I sold a glass crystal, the anchors, and um, peacock. And that eagle the other day was a crystal, the anchors. I think when I did a minute search. So yeah, um, just a bud vase. Cost one ninety nine. I'm gonna shoot for a tenner. <coughs> Um, got some hotter shoes, not as much money in these as the other ones that I've had before. Just some ladies are oh, hotter shoes. These cost me two ninety nine, about fifteen quid. Um, if you don't know about hotter shoes, it always tells you the name in there. So EVA. So hotter Eva. These were two ninety nine, um, only about fifteen quid. Yeah, fifteen quid. Any. Um, Pick this up because I think I might have shown it in a video the other day. I sold some in the pocket. Oh, it's spare buttons. <laughs> um, yeah, I sold a, literally the same one the other day, but it's just of a different brand. Um, just a leather waistcoat, suede leather waistcoat. Um, yeah, so this was one ninety nine. I'm just going to shoot for. It, looking up the brand, I couldn't really see anything. Um, there was waist coats, but not the leather one. They were going for about fifteen. Um, I'm just going to shoot for twenty, so because that's what I went for on the other one. So yeah, twenty quid on that one. Um, a vintage kickers coat. I normally don't pick up kickers, but yeah, I thought fuck it, looks old. But it's a nice old kind of 90s kickers coat. Um I think it's not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put 90s in the because I'm not sure but it looks like looks like some odd wear in the nineties when I was a kid. Um I don't know if the brand and um, is that the old kicker sign? I don't know. Anyway, um yeah quarter zip coat three ninety nine twenty five quid I'll shoot for that one. And then this one this one was my favourite find of the day. <coughs> um Jack and Jones Nice Jack and Jones bomber jacket. 
kind of Hawaii floor. It's really nice. But what size is it actually? I ain't getting the medium. I think I've ever got in the medium. Um, yeah, so five ninety nine. It's new with tags as well. So new with tags. Pacific. What is it? Jaw new Pacific bomber, and it's not specific like the item Pacifics, but uh, Pacific bomber. Um, five ninety nine. Thirty quid. But I don't know. It, it does look nice, but yeah, thirty quid. I'm gonna shoot for thirty. So that's why I've got some show shops today. Um, I thought the car boots were going to be off this weekend. Uh, it was advertising rain all week, um, but it looks like it might be turning around. I think. I think uh, all week when I've been looking, it's been it was meant to be raining all day today, and then raining into the night, just like last week. And then they end up cancelling it. But by the looks of it, from what I can see, we're not going to have any more rain now until um, uh, like late afternoon tomorrow so yeah sorry I'm gonna go to the car but I think the wife and the kids are gonna walk around with me so I think my wife is gonna park the car in the car bit this time so we'll see we'll see how that goes um, yeah so I'll probably I don't know if I'll get any video there the kids will be playing up it'll be 6 a.m. in the morning I'm not gonna put my kids playing up on the internet they don't deserve it <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'll show you a haul from the car boat and it'll probably be on this video. So it might just be after this. What up YouTube, how you doing? Just in the shed getting some stuff. Um, yeah, if you notice, I didn't. I think I said on the end of the last clip that I'd show you my car boat haul. We didn't end up going to the car boat. Um, the wife was pretty ill yesterday. So um, we, you know, I was going to make a drive down there. And um, I wasn't going to also leave her with the two children. <laughs> I was going to try and think of a way of describing them like life suckers, but now the children. Um, so yeah, I didn't go into the car, but, uh, but went out today, um, went to Stair Ridge, which I'll show you. I've, I've got stuff, so I will show you in a bit. Um, but yeah, sales have dried up a bit. It's gone. Keeps peaks and valleys, peaks and valleys all the time. Um, I had a bleeding neutral feedback today, which just pissed me off. Um, I'm hoping, I'm gonna get in touch with eBay later, um, but I'm hoping I can get it removed. It, it, I don't know if anybody anybody else has this, but when it comes to like getting like feedback and getting neutrals or negatives, it's never like, it's never like a £50 item, it's never a £100 item, it's never anything like that, it's always like, like this badge, it's like a £5 badge that's gone to the States and they've said it's got dented in like transit, so I'm hoping, because normally with GSP, um, like I've had, say, I don't know, I've had stuff that's got damaged on the way there and um, I've ended up getting negative feedback or whatever because the things got damaged and then eBay have just completely took it off saying it's, it got damaged in our transit so I'm hoping with the badge that it's um yeah they can just remove it it's so annoying though to get like a, like a neutral feedback they, they even put in that um slight dent on badge other than that great service <laughs> I've got a fucking, I've got a little grey spot on my thing there because you, you douche. So you can turn around and say, oh, great service. But I've got a little grey dot now because of you, bellend. Anyway, yeah, but yeah, storage is alright. Got um, quite a bit of stuff today, to be fair. Um, and I'll show you in a bit. Now, I'm just getting this stuff out. Such, if, if, if there is like one thing. I, I wouldn't say hate, but the biggest thing I dislike about doing eBay is getting the stuff out of the shed. Getting the stuff and find, but obviously I know where roundabouts everything is, but good lord. Getting the stuff out and having to pull these tubs out is an absolute nightmare. Anyway, I'm just bitching. I'll see you later. Right, what up YouTube? How you doing? It's Tuesday. Um, I didn't get around to doing it last night again. I'm trying to not put pressure on myself. I'm getting, 
I know I said I was like going to try and get um, stuff like listed in like two to three days. I was just getting myself stressed out, and then when the kids get home and then tired from school, it just becomes a bit of chaos when I'm trying to get um, you know twenty items photographed and listed. So yeah, I'm not I'm not putting too much pressure on myself. Sales are coming in, but um, this thing of me trying to get everything listed and not photographed and listed in three days with two kids, it's just... Like days like this, when I've got today to myself, I'll get like some... Like I'll probably get all this photographed today. Um, but when it's... Um, the other days when I'm sourcing, so... So when I'm so, who's been drawing on this freaking desk? That's lies from the kicker ass. Goddamn kids. Sorry. Um. Yeah. It it just becomes stressful. I'm getting wound up, so I'm trying to get stuff done. The kids are kicking off. Shell's trying to deal with them. It's like okay. Shell, no offense, love Shell to bits, but she don't deal with them. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so I end up having to deal with them and then I'll get peeved because I'm getting behind on what, I've, what I what I want to get done. So it's not worth not worth the argument. Um, so yeah, I can't remember what my point was. I don't know, I've just gone a bit of a rant then. I can't remember what my point was. Anyway, I'm just not putting pressure on myself. Uh, but yeah, went out yesterday, went to Stowbridge and Kings Winford. Did all right in the end. Normally, Stay Ridge and Kings Winford, I don't really get a lot from, but it's a posher end of um, the black country, if you know what I mean. So, um, you, you might find some kind of gems up there. Which I found some more odd stuff today, not yesterday. So, I'll go through it. Um, as I said, I'm going to put these all together. If you do like, um, I don't know, if there is anyone that really is like, I prefer the charity eShop videos by themselves and stuff like that, and or you know, or you prefer them all together. Let me know. Um, it, all it's basically just laziness for me. I'm just thinking I do. <coughs> I film myself every other day or every day, um, and then I'll just do a package of videos all put together instead of like doing separate ones and editing separate ones. But yeah. Anyway, right. So I want to go through the stuff that isn't clothing first. It, actually, it is clothing because they're all shoes. Um, so yeah, some hotters again. Got some hotter snake print um, shoes again. As I said with the hotter ones before, they've always got a name on the inside. I didn't I didn't see the name that I was looking for. So these are fresh. So hotter fresh. Um, they cost me six ninety nine again. The area you are paying up, the uh, six ninety nine for snake print ones, only about fifteen quid. So, yeah, I wouldn't normally pay any more than a fiver for hotter shoes. Some of them can be to miss, but then some of them can be all right. Um, again, some more hotter shoes. These are men's. Uh, Energize, yeah. So some Energize sandals. These cost me eight quid. They do look a bit faded, but I think looking looking them up, they're, they're kind of meant to look like that. So the sun's just come out in my kitchen. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, seven ninety nine, twenty five 25 quid on them. And then the last pair of shoes were some Timberland. Where are they? i not written that down. There they are. Altamont. That was a key word I saw when I was looking up. But some sandals again, nice leather sandals. Uh, again, these cost me eight quid, and I'll go for twenty five on these. No more than twenty five really when I've looked them. Up. So yeah, twenty five quid on them. Nice pair of sandals. I might I might go for thirty on them because they are a nice pair of sandals. So yeah, those are the bits that weren't clothing that you put on your body. That's the clothing that you put on your feet. Yes, you might say that. Um, feet is part of your body, but I don't think it is. Covering your your nudie bits. I don't really watch this morning that much, but the TV I've just put the TV on while I've been going on here. I was watching Good Morning Britain, 
And like some of them, like that Alison, she's somewhere really nice. She always seems to be somewhere really nice. It's like, how do I get a job like that? Send me to Cornwall, send me to places like that. Anyway, um, I thought I'd get these on. These were, I think, my find of the day for me personally. Um, I could, I'm not going to go through them individually because it's just going to bore you. But what I'll do is I'll name the certain names of them that go for more money. Um, so these, I've got six, is it six pairs. Yeah, six pairs and two of them are the same. So I've got six pairs of Maya, of, of um, I think of these before, showing these before. Yeah, six pairs of Maya, Maya Hosen, kind of a German brand. Um, yeah, these are stretch ones. They're all 34 inch waist. Uh, <clears throat> and they all cost 2 99 each. So yeah, I'm not going to go, you saw the colours, there's blue there, most of them are beige, but there's a blue, grey. Two of them are exactly the same. I'm guessing they're from the same person, but they're in really good, like new condition. Two ninety nine, and you're looking at like um, 30, 25, 30, 25, 30. So yeah, all for 25, 30 quid. So yeah, that, I'd say out of everything that I got, that was that was the thing where I walked away going, yeah, I've... I've I've done good there. Um, sorry, I've, I've still got this um, man flu. Like I've been wanting to go for a run, but I don't want to. I don't want to go for a run and then, um, yeah, end up having problems with my chest because it's all on my chest. It's horrible. Um, so yeah, around twenty five, thirty quid for all of them, but you know, individually. So it's a bonus getting six pairs of them. Um, some diesel jeans now again these are the highest um sorry the highest um selling price that i've got here so look that i've written down 55 quid on the shoot for these again but i will be sitting on these for a while so yeah they're 38 inch waist again we that's also i think that was my house ones you find a lot of those that are um, plus size, so 38, 40 waist, stuff like that. They go for, they go for like, I've sold, I think I sold some the other week for like 60 quid, I think it was. There was some, um, I don't know if, I, I don't know if it was before I started vlogging again, but there was some Meyerhausen ones that were new with the tag, and I think they were 42 inch waist, and I th it was, it was either 55 or 60 that they ended up going for, so yeah. Yeah, some of them go for even money, but yeah, diesel again. I mentioned me diesel before. I do pick up diesel jeans. These, I said this the last time. I'm gonna keep saying it because then they might sell straight away. But I had some diesel jeans that I had. Um, um I had some diesel jeans that I had just when I first started doing videos again, and I said the you know. They'll be around for ages and they're sold the same week, 450 quid. So hopefully these might do the same. They're a 38 inch waist, which might make them more appealing. Again, I'll measure these because they might be they might be bigger than a 38 inch waist, which would be a bonus. Um, but yeah, very short legged. Again, I've started doing this, I've mentioned it before. I don't go by that tag on there anymore. I'll show the tag, obviously. I'll show the sizes, but I'll put my own personal measurements in there and just put in the description, um, you know, label size, blah, 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 the actual measurements of this. Because I got burnt on quite a few pairs of jeans where they've been returned, where they've, <coughs> they're saying the sizes are different. Um, I think you find with a lot of used jeans, the sizes change. So, yeah, I think they might be bigger than a 38, but I'll check them. Uh, but 55 quid, the ones are larky. Sorry, sun's come out again. Yeah, Larky and um, Diesel Jeans. But yeah, the leg. It says 32 leg. I think that's a little bit. I reckon that's under 30, I don't know. Yeah. Um, this one was a bit of a, a bit of a dud. I thought that for me I thought there's loud there's gotta be money in this. Um, the brand is Skanda. Now I haven't picked up Skanda before, but it came with um, it's a brand Skanda. Um, 
it came with the coat and a removable fleece, which the fleece you could wear as another jacket. Um, it cost me seven quid. I've written down twenty. So I've got to do this. Here we go. Um, I wrote down twenty. It cost me seven. Uh, I might go for a little bit more than twenty because it's got the removable fleece. I might because there's a coat that's gone for fifteen, and then fleeces that have gone for like nine. So I might go for twenty five. But yeah, it, I thought there'd be more money in it, but it's got a removable fleece. I'll put the fleece on the inside. <coughs> Be a four lights over 25 on that one. Um, a Rohan jacket again. I love picking up my Rohans, and I, I did a little <laughs> noise because I was looking through. There's, there's a shop in Kings Winford, the Acorn shop in Kings Winford. It's the last one, kind it's the last one on my kind of um. The last charity shop that I go to when I go to Stowbridge, so I normally have a bag full of stuff. Um, I did yesterday, but this one um, it never really has anything in there. The prices are ridiculous. Some of the prices in there are just not ridiculous. You know, it, it's up to them. They'll make money. You know, people will go in there and spend that money. But for me personally, it's just ridiculous. But this was on for a tenner. Um, Rowan jackets. I knew I'd get more. But yeah, 10 or 35 quid. This is a fusion jacket, Rohan fusion jacket, but yeah, nice jacket. Kind of a bomber jacket. Look, bomber looking jacket. <coughs> Sorry about this. Driving me mad. Uh, yeah, this one, I wouldn't normally pick up this brand. I pick up the trousers in this brand, but I find, you know, you have them at car boots, being sold at car boots. Um, a lot of online sellers send, sell brand new stuff, but. Uh, the brand, I'm sure a lot of people have heard of it, North Face. Is it North Face? Yeah, North Face. Um, it's just a quarter zip fleece. Cost me six. Um, should hopefully get about 35, but it looks legit. There's no, there's nothing that's telling me that it's fake. But I just know there's a lot online. Yeah, six quid. I'll go for 35. Quarter zip fleece. This one was a bit of a punt. Um, I sold the white stuff. Um, what should I call it? Sorry, I'm, I'm ill. I'm really out of functioning. Um, a white stuff, waistcoat. And I've got a couple of jumpers that were going for all that money. So I thought I'd pick up this shirt. Not a lot in it. Um, it cost me £3.75. 15 quid. Just a plain shirt. I don't know why I picked it up. I think I went to the first two charity shops and I'd, all I'd picked up was two pairs of shoes. So I was like, oh, I've got to pick up something in the next one. Uh, this one, I actually bought this t-shirt for myself, um, but it doesn't fit me. <laughs> uh, yeah. A Joe Brown's helicopter t-shirt. It says XL. It's not XL. I'm in an XL. I'm definitely in an XL. I, I have not moved up to 2XL yet. I've lost weight. I've got a bit of hench. Maybe that's what it is. But anyway, um, yeah, Joe Brown says you a helicopter on the front, two pound fifty, uh, about fifteen quid. No, a tenner, yeah, a tenner. Not a lot, of Joe Brown. It's weird. I've got this thing in my head. I, I think I mentioned it in a video the other day. I've got this thing in my head that Joe Brown's is the worst loud of money, and every time I pick it up, I'm like, ah, disappointed. And then the last couple of bits. These were some sports tops. Um. Picked up a couple of rugby tops. They're just training tops. These are now. I've looked them up, but you know, I, I like having sports stuff. Just a Linkster rugby kind of training top. Uh, not a lot of money in it. Four quid it cost me. Ten ass. So it's a bit of a dud. Um, a British Lions training top. This is more kind of cotton. Three quid. Uh, twenty quid. I've seen one go for. So I'm just sure for twenty. If I have to come down, I'll come down. And then the last one, um, excuse me, thought there'd be more money in this, but, you know, oh well, uh, just a Colorado Avalanche hoodie, it's part of the Reebok Face Off collection, and I've searched them up a bit, not really a lot of money, 20 quid, and I'm stretching for 20 quid, it's covered, it's pretty much covered in bubbles, but um, it looks like the kind of bobbly 
bobbling that you can get off. Now look, it's pretty raised. So yeah, I should be fine with it. So yeah, that's everything that I picked up um, yesterday. Again, not bad. Uh, I need to get some photos done. I need to get some stuff done. I do. But uh, yeah. I don't know, I'm, I think when I'm ill, I'm just I'm out, I need to, I need to get on top of it, but um, yeah, so I'm going to put these away, and then I'll show you what's going out today, see you in a bit. Right, what up YouTube, back again, um, this will be the last clip of the video, uh, going to go through the sales that are going out today, from the weekend, um, average. It's again, I'm just having average, average, average at the minute. It's not, I'm not getting anywhere near the numbers I was in, you know, July, August last year. So it's just average at the minute. Just got to get back. Got to get back. I got to get through this. I got to get through this. I got to get, got to get, got to make it through. Oh, I got to get through this. I got to get through this. I gotta, gotta make it, gotta make it through. I'm not gonna pretend I know the rest of it. Right, badges, badges and jewelry. That's what we're gonna go through first. Um, go through the badges first. Ooh, there we go. Right, so a Pizza Hut badge. What is it? Football in the community. Pizza Hut just joining. Pizza Hut badge. There you go. That one went for two pound fifty, cost me twenty p. Um, a lot of these badges, you get like messages of people saying, "Oh, I'm glad I found this badge. I had this when I was like five or something." It's like, oh, okay, like I might have had a. I'm not judging them, but I might have had a badge when I was five. But I don't remember a lot about it when I was five. Uh, this is an RS, RSPB. RSPB. Oh, what do what what do I want to say? RSPBA. RSPB. RS RSPBA. RSP. What's the one that? No, whatever. RSPB. Am I, am I getting that wrong? RSPB blue tip badge. Have I just got that wrong in the uh, title? Eleven uh, p. That cost me that one. That blue. That tit went for three pound fifty. I forget it in. Um, a gold town elephant kind of badge, brooch badge, whatever you want to call it. Just a little baby elephant. That one went for £2.50. And a moth. The last one was a moth. Yeah, a moth. RSPB again, so I might be getting that wrong, but I don't think I am. Just a moth. So RSPB moth. 20p, that one went for £2.50. So not a lot of money in the badges this week. Um, Kind of slight. What I've well, I'll read what I put. I don't know why I put Mother of Pearl in there. Mm. But I put neon green shell, Mother of Pearl style. Put style in there because that gives you a little bit of leeway. Stretch bracelet, custom jewelry. So it's just a neon green bracelet. Uh, cost me twenty p. Went for a fiver. Uh, a wooden bangle. So I had two wooden bangles out right, the other day. On Friday. So yeah, chunky, thick, dark wood, wooden bangle. Three quid that went for. I think it's on a reduced price. It's been on for a while. And then I had a necklace go out on Sunday night. I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the title and then let's see if you can imagine what it looks like. Abalone Rainbow Multicolored Cluster Bib Disc Necklace. Now let that stick in your mind. And all the jewellery people out there can think, what will that look like? Well, let me show you. But let's see if you've got, let's see if you've got the right one in your mind, and let me know in the comments below. Did I get it bang on? Oh, I think I did. Look at that. Nice little necklace. That one went for six quid. So, yep, that's all the jewellery. Bullshit. Daisies, probably seen a few holes in my vein there. Don't care. I need to get some new ones, but I just don't give a shit. <laughs> ah, anyway, 
So that's the jewellery. I can go over there for what I've packed it. Are you having a poo, Charlie? Thanks a lot. That's decided to have a poo literally there. Right, I'm not going to. I'll lose them if I trip Right, clothing. Oh, shoot. I'll go with the pair of shoes first and the rest of it's clothing. So, yeah, some hotter shoes. Had these a couple of weeks ago. You would have seen them in the video at some point. Cost me £6.99. Not literally on the clip I've just done. They do look a lot similar to the ones that I picked up. That's what made me pick them up. <coughs> but these cost six ninety nine, so for twenty five. Size seven. Oh, they're women's. So, yeah. a atmosphere top. This would have been from the bundle I got from another reseller. Oh. In the chart, let me hear him. That means he's going to go on a freaking Madden soon. Start climbing them curtains, most likely. So yeah, that went for three pound fifty. Cost me like ninety p. Went for three pound fifty. This one, I like this one. That cat told you. Told you to do something. He's knocked something over. Um, I was happy with this sale. I've had this for a while. I've had this jacket for a while. What's up, Charles? I've had this jacket for a while. It's... Charlie, what's the matter? What's the matter? Give me a second, let me get a toy for him. Yeah, I think he wanted a bit of a play, so I'll put some toys on for him and then I'll play with him after I've done these. Um, yeah, so like a Spalding... Um, like a varsity bomber jacket it's got 51 on the back um i had this for a while i've took photos of it again it went through bids and it didn't sell um got it from a car boot when i went with matt Lawrence. uh thought it'd be like a quick seller but you know yeah it cost me a five out so for 20 I had it listed for 30. somebody sent me an offer for 20. i went back with 25 they come back with 23 and i took 23. so yeah Glad to see the back of it to be fair because it's been around for a while. So yeah, um twenty three quid for that cost me a fiver. Uh this one was a nice sale, didn't last very long. Ugh, a wolves top from twenty what was it? Twenty fifteen to twenty sixteen. This might have been the last video I did. So yeah, one ninety nine. This cost me Sold for 25, well happy with that. And not going to Wolverhampton either, going somewhere in Oxford, I think. Um, I'll go through the jeans, a few pairs of jeans that have sold. Um, some for reduced prices, I was having a bad day. One of them days where I'd had no sales, I think it was Saturday. Didn't have any sales till like late afternoon, so took some offers. Um, yeah, these went for 20 quid. These are from like a wholesale order. Uh, they are Levi 559s. I don't know what it is with Levi. I don't pick up Levi's. I see Levi's around, but I don't pick them up because even though, like with a lot of other stuff, I'll pick them up even though I'm not 100% with the names. Like I know certain diesel names go for better money than other diesel names, but I'll still pick up any diesel jeans. With Levi's, I find that there's really only one or two I might be completely wrong, but from my experience, one or two that go for all white right money and then the rest of them are going for under 20 quid. I might be completely wrong on that, don't hold me to it, but that's my experience. But um, So I don't really pick these up, but these were in a wholesale order. It was my first wholesale order, so early last year, or was it late last year? Was it before the pandemic? I can't remember. And I picked up a wholesale order, but I'm not sure if it was... Was it, the, was it the first lockdown? It might have been the first lockdown. I can't remember. But, um, yeah. So they cost me like £8.57. Uh, they went for 20 quid. Another pair of jeans. I think these are Tommy Hilfiger. Or are they? Yep, these are Tommy Hilfiger. Yep, Tommy Hilfiger Neo Flare jeans. You can see they're a bit... Flare, sorry kids, <laughs> sorry kids. They're only flary at the bottom. 
Um, these cost me four pound fifty. They only went for they were on for fifteen. They went for ten ninety nine. So I just took the passage off. Let's see the back of some jeans. And then the last pair. These are proper. I took a proper reduced price on these. Uh, they were listed for thirty five. I was having a show it day. Um, some nuddy jeans from that nuddy wholesale order that I got. So eight thirteen. These cost me. Um, tight long john jeans so i was having a bad day they were on for 35 and someone sent an off for 22 so i was like yeah you can have them sub it you can have them I'm having a shite day i need the money to come in um and then the last item this sold late last night um didn't get the alert i didn't get the alert i was going through my spreadsheets this morning i didn't get the alert and i saw the fee for this and i was like why well, have I got a fee for a Jack and Jones card? But well, I picked this up recently. Um, Jack and Jones Vintage. That's one. Jack and Jones Vintage. Um, I think it's Fishtail Flare. Look at the bottom of the card. Fishtail Flare. Jack and Jones card. Uh, this went for 30 quid. I think it cost me £7.50. Whoop. Where's it yeah, it cost me seven pound fifty. Went for thirty quid. Oh wow! Look at that. So, yeah, those are my sales that are going out today. So all right, sales are sales. I can't pick him on Charlie. Cat gets obsessed with bags, man. Look, well, see, he's obsessed with you know the big kind of bag for life bags, but then he'll get himself. You have to keep an eye on him because he'll get himself. With the bands, like the um, you know, the handles, you'll get the handles stuck around his head. But damn kids. So yeah, um, I'm gonna start packing these up. But yeah, that's the video. So yeah, just I'm gonna start doing mis mismatches ones. I'm not gonna do like a. He's got himself there. I'm not gonna do a um, what's it called? A like charity shop haul or a car boot haul. I'm just gonna put them all together. And I'll put in the description what's in them, and if you want to watch them, you can watch them. Whatever. It just saves me editing. <laughs> but for now, I love you and leave you. Peace out. Stay safe, stay beautiful. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.